Good evening. You might be noticing this looks a little bit familiar for some of you viewers. Um, for those of you who are not aware, I already reviewed this beer before. This is Parallel 49's Parallelogram in partnership with 49th Parallel Coffee Roasters. So this is the first time, um, except for previous times when I had multi-packs that had beer I've already reviewed. This is the first time I'm going to be re-reviewing this beer because after I released my previous review, which was scathing. It's such an unappealing drink. And very negative. Like imagine, you know, flat soda. Parallel 49 reached out to me and politely informed me, you're pouring it wrong, Kyle. <laughs> um, okay, it was in much more polite words than that. And uh, after doing some research, I found out that this beer, and they told me, of course, actually in the description, what I did wrong, but I did the research and this is a nitro beer, and Parallel 49 told me as such. This is a nitro beer, which means in order to activate the carbonation, so to speak, simplified, you have to pour it vertically, like this. Otherwise, you'll result in a very flat brew, which is unappealing tasting. I have heard of some Irish stouts doing this, um, but I've never actually encountered one that uh, used this before, so that's my mistake. Um, looking at this now, I do see something that I noticed when I first drank it, the very first time before I even reviewed it. <clears throat> it's a little logo down here that I can't even get, hello, can't even focus on the camera, but it says invert to pour and has a picture of has a picture of a beer bottle upside down. Now, I thought that was a joke at first. Like, some some craft brewers have some crazy things on their on their covers. They may have some eccentric art. Um, Phillips has like made in Cascadia as a joke because Cascadia is a fictional country. Um, so I thought that was a joke. Um, and I will say that it doesn't actually seem to mention that this is a nitro beer until you read the description, which, um, yeah, that's my fault for not reading the description. Otherwise, um, okay, I still would have screwed it up because I still didn't know the full principles of a nitro beer, so I still would have screwed it up. A parallelogram is a shape that you probably haven't thought about since grade five. These two great companies have come together to bring you a nitrogenated porter blended with house roasted coffee, providing malt aromas, delicate roasted flavors, and a smooth mouthfeel that you won't soon forget. So if I was knowledgeable about nitrogenated beers, that would have been an immediate flag for me to pour it right. However, I was not, so I still would have screwed up on the video. Anyway, Parallel 49 has actually, full disclosure, Parallel 49 has actually sent me a four pack of this beer for free. So full disclosure, they are the first company that has bought me free beer. Um, but I'm still gonna be give this an honest review, good or bad, but no matter what happens, I'd just like to thank them for being such good sports about this. They have a, seem to have a very good PR team, and I mean, they took the time to talk to me when I'm lucky to get my videos double digit in views. So cheers to you guys at Parallel 49. And no matter what this happens, no hard feelings, okay? All right, so first, Let's do this. I don't want to spill anything. Now, if you've seen the previous video, well, you remember that there was barely any head, and what head there was vanished pretty soon. You'll see how the nitrogen effect works. It's The bubbles are forming up, and they're forming the head gradually, rather than an immediate head, which you'd normally get from most beers. Now it's solidified into a pretty robust head. Now this is a lot more appealing looking than it looked before. Like this, this looks like a stout to me. Or porter, um, porter. This looks like a porter to me. Looks like a stout too, of course, but you know. Anyway. Still smells the same. Smells like very quality coffee. Got, got, a, got a sweet tinge to it actually. Kind of like a uh, really Strong flavorful coffee with a with sugar sprinkled in. I guess that'd be the malt, of course, in this case. But yeah, coffee with sugar. That's what it is. 
Hmm. Maybe a bit of caramel, but then again, caramel is basically pure sugar. All right, let's uh, test it out. Mmm. That is way better than before. Absolutely huge improvement. I'm not just saying that because they paid for this beer. Um, you know, this isn't my job. <laughs> um, if it was a bad beer, I'd say it was a bad beer, but this is good. This is actually good now. So the base flavor isn't too much different from before. Um, minus the texture created by the carbonation, of course. Base flavor is very good coffee. It's got a sweet malt base underneath it, just as the bottle said, which for me it tastes a little like adding a, quite a bit of sugar to your coffee, or maybe like dunking in like a square of caramel in there and letting it melt in your coffee. Huh. Now that's an interesting idea. Or at least an interesting image, at least. So, it tastes, the coffee tastes good, it is a good regardless, but previously the texture was the big issue, and texture is a big part of it. If your flavor is good, you can make like the most magnificent sauce, pasta sauce in the world, but if you serve it on like a dessert, tomato, a tomato meat sauce on, a, on like a cheesecake, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. In this case, it was delicious coffee with a flat beer. Right now it has carbonation and that improves the texture immensely. And it's the nitrogen, I have actually, I think I have had nitrogenated beers before, but I don't remember pouring it like that because um, the carbonation does taste different. Um, it tastes like a porter, pretty common porter, carbonated porter, but it does taste very different and gives it an interesting little Hard to say, hard to describe honestly, you just have to kind of try it. Um, it's almost like a cool sensation underneath it. But this is quite a bit of a turnaround and actually, now that I've tried it, this almost tastes like one of my favorite Parallel 49 beers. Um, I actually like this a lot. And there's also some interesting pluses to this. Um, most ports, porters and stutters are, ser are sold in four packs, sold at the normal price, but this one's sold at, I believe, $9.99 Canadian, instead of opposed to the standard $11.99, so it's actually quite economic for a porter, because usually they cost more. And at the same time, the taste is pretty darn good porter, honestly darn good porter actually and uh, as a result I can hardly recommend I can hardly recommend this one to pretty much anyone there who's interested in a port I think this would be a good beginner one too if this is your first port or is your pardon me there's a bit more carbonation this time if uh, this is one of your first porters I think this is a very accessible one too not just because of the price but because the flavor is pretty pretty beginner friendly, but at the same time, for people who are more experienced with porters, you can get quite a bit out of it still. Mm. Yeah, so now it tastes like really good beer and really good coffee. And as a result, I can say this is a great a collaboration between them. And uh, yeah. So, I think we can end on a high note. Um, thank you, Parallel49, for giving me free beer. Um, thank you for putting up with my negative review. And uh, I'm officially recanting everything I said in the previous review. And this is a first for me. So I apologize for the previous review and not pouring it right. And uh, I'm looking forward to having the rest of the, pa the pack you sent me. Cheers. He'll, he'll drink, he'll try to drink beer, and he'll try to drink coffee, 
but you mix beer and coffee, all of a sudden he's afraid. Dumb cat. Dumb cat.